Hi, my name is Sandy Tilly. I'm Executive Director of Angels of Spirit Soup Kitchen. Our soup kitchen opened in 2008 and we have served probably over 200,000 meals in the time that we've been, um, you know, working. We are open Monday through Friday without fail. If a holiday falls during the week, we're there. We serve lunch from 11 to 1 and anyone is welcome who needs our help. There's no criteria to be met. There's no questionnaire, there's no application, there's no credit check. Just come on down and enjoy what we have to offer. Another thing that we do is our summer bag lunch program. We feed approximately, this year was 17,000 bag lunches. And those go to children who normally get um, free lunch or subsidized lunch at school. But when school's out, they don't get the proper nutrition. So that's where we come in. And it's been an extremely valuable uh, program for angels and sparrows. We're almost all volunteer and we use 10 volunteers a day. We have about 200 on our uh, roster and we, we, just, we have the best volunteers in the world. We have enjoyed um, having this ministry because it allows us to do hands-on, to sit down and talk with people. Maybe we can help them in some other way or guide them to a resource that they you know, can use like Ada Jenkins or the free clinic or, you know, there's several available in this area. Everybody doesn't have what they need all the time in spite of the general population believing that this area is very affluent. It is in some areas, but it's also not in others. And that's, that's our job is to, to fill in those gaps. So thank you for um, coming to Angels and Sparrows and thank you for everything you do for us. Housing Opportunity Foundation. This is Daniel Fogarty coming to you live from the Beds for Kids warehouse. I cannot say thank you enough for the support that you provide to organizations like Beds for Kids and so many others around our community. In the past years, you've helped us buy mattresses like these, and this year you're helping us buy blankets for 250 kids in our community. Every night, thousands of children in Charlotte go to sleep on the floor without a bed to call their own, and you're helping us change that. For all you do, I say thank you. For all you are, I say thank you. It's a great city to live in when people like you help us change the world. Have a great afternoon and it's, enjoy the lunch. Welcome to Charlotte Rescue Mission. Everything we do is about transformation. We work from the inside out to address the root causes of somebody's addiction, to return them as contributing members to society, gainfully employed with a place of their own to live. The room you're in is part of our 98-year-old facility, um, and it's seen better days, as you can tell, and we're just grateful to you for helping us deal with plumbing problems. As you can see, the showers behind me are used by almost 80 men in our program, and they have seen better days. So we just want to say thank you for making our facility better for them so they have dignity and respect and when they get that then they truly feel like they have value and they become part of society so thank you so much hello i am tony hagerman i'm the program coordinator at galilee center Galilee Center is a partnership of seven different nonprofits that serve primarily the refugee community in East Charlotte. Uh, one of the things that we've discovered lately is that uh, our refugee clients uh, save money, they hit the ground running with jobs, but they really face a lot of challenges when it comes to establishing a credit history and buying a home. And so this grant money will allow us to provide translators uh, where they can understand the concepts uh, the legal legal jargon, uh, the processes that are involved in, in uh, purchasing a home. So you are helping to welcome them into our community and to help them get established and to assimilate and we are very grateful uh, to the foundation for this gift. Thank you. I'm Alice Harrison. I'm the CEO of Hope Haven. We are excited to be talking with you today about the Housing Opportunities Foundation grant. Hope Haven is a residential aftercare facility for recovering alcoholic and other drug addicted. 
singles and families. We are asking for $3,000 to help us begin to put together a play therapy program for our children that are ages one day to five years old. Yeah. Uh, this will help them uh, in a preventative way to learn more about what's going, going on in their lives or has gone on in their lives. If they're four or five, they've probably had a lot of experiences that they haven't been able to talk about. And this is the way through play that they will do that. It also will help us to be able to do assessments by a licensed therapist to see what their needs are, which is a very specialized area in family and children's therapy. So this will certainly help us to begin going down a new road that will provide even better services to the children of Hope Haven. Hi, I'm Wendy Tonetti with Kids First of the Carolinas. Kids First, a small little grassroots charity. Sharon Sanders and I run the charity. We like to say we're little, but we do big things. And today we're in our store, which we got a store space donated so we can collect food. We've been feeding families every Wednesday over the summer because when you don't get school lunches, you don't get food. So that was our summer. Now we're collecting school supplies. Thank you to the Realtor Grant for helping us with that. We also have a few kids that we're sleeping on the floor, we found some beds, and we kind of are the boots on the ground making something happen. Teacher calls us, an in-home nurse calls us today, and you know what, thanks to people like all of you that help us, we help tomorrow. Bingo, done. Welcome to Matthew's Help Center. Um, Matthew's Help Center provides food, shelter, clothing, transportation, and budget counseling to individuals and families that are in financial crisis. When you approach our campus, you'll see that we actually built our, our building to look like a home. Uh, we want the client to feel very comfortable. It's not a threatening environment for someone to walk into. Uh, we want them to feel like they're here with a friend and that we can help them out. With our food, we have a wonderful food pantry that's supported by the community. Uh, again, we want them to have choices. So we prepare a whole week's worth of food plus laundry detergent, toothpaste, uh, personal hygiene products, things like that for them to have. We do budget counseling. We really believe if you teach a man to fish, he won't go hungry. Uh, the grant that we're receiving, we are so excited about, and we're going to be using it to help with housing with our clients. So it co could cover the cost of a rent, a mortgage, their water, their electricity, their gas bill. Could be used for transitional housing. Sometimes people come to us and they're not even in a home. They may be living in their cars or on the street, and we can get them into housing while they're working to get into a permanent house. Hi, I'm Pam Jeffson. I'm Executive Director of Supportive Housing Communities. And we are so thankful to the Housing Opportunity Foundation for our grant. We will be using our funds to purchase mattresses for people moving from homelessness into housing. Sometimes we have donations of furniture and different household items, but we really need new mattresses when, when someone comes into housing and generally our residents come in with absolutely nothing. So we're very grateful it will be used, um, it'll be gratefully used. We have 90 units of apartment housing at McCreesh Place on North Davidson Street, and we also have 75 units of scattered site housing at various places in the community. And our, we serve men, women, and families, and all of our residents are coming out of homelessness. Most are chronically homeless and all have at least one disability. Many residents are living with multiple disabilities. So we're serving the most vulnerable people in our community and so as a result you are also serving the most vulnerable people in our community and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Running's work is important to me because uh, it's another support of a family. Uh, it helped me get back and forth where I need to go with bus passes. Uh, it really helps out my family uh, a lot. Uh, my girlfriend, my baby on the way. So um, yeah, that's why running works is important to me. They help me in 
every aspect of my life. So. And work been, uh, been important to me with bus passes to get me back and forth, the doctor, housing, coming to run and work, meeting family and new people and the things that's important in my life. Certain people donating bus passes to us, it is very beneficial because now me as a person, I can get on the bus and go meet my family, which I have very rarely did that. But it's just beneficial and I just like what these people do. Hi, I'm Meredith Delore. I'm the founder and executive director of Running Works, and we would like to personally thank the Housing Opportunity Foundation for our awesome grant to that focuses on bus passes. Our transportation fund helps our neighbors, our homeless neighbors, our men and women get to job opportunities, to meet family, to reconnect with family, to try and get housing, to go to appointments for current housing. Um, it also helps them get to the program, to get to races. We have multiple programs all week long, some twice a day. We have family dinners. This uh, grant that you guys have awarded us will help us with many different things, and we are really excited to use the funds allocated to us. Thank you so much. You find out a lot about yourself when you come here. Not just what you do and don't like to do, but or even what you're good at, but who you get along with and even more about yourself. And bus passes give me a very lucrative way to look for jobs, go to school, even though I just moved downtown, you know, but I still need a bus pass to take me other places. So, and that note right there, I will get my bus pass. Thank you so much. <laughs>Hey, how you doing? My name is Shaq. I'm the Director of Youth Service here at Time Out Youth. I run two major programs here in the space. One is the host home program for young people that are experiencing unstable housing between the ages of 18 to 23. That housing program is a 90-day housing program. In that, in that program, we provide case management services, financial stability, and making sure that young people secure and, and find safe and stable housing in addition to employment. It had just been, you know, took a toll upon me. Um, I actually couldn't really afford to, you know, to attend school, so I had to withdraw from the university. Then I went back to New York to um, help out with my family. And after that fact, um, me staying with them, um, they didn't accept me from who I was. So I came back to Charlotte, and I experienced um, actually truly living on my own, like packing just one back of suitcase, you know, just completely leaving where I used to know and where I used to stay in this all my years of living to come down to like, you know, experience a new life. Um, that I knew that I had to like, you know, find some type of stability. So my thoughts was just, you know, going to a shelter, the men's shelter. Mm -hmm. um, when I left the shelter is when I actually um, visited Time My Youth. And again, um, the Time My Youth, I never truly even knew an organization that would help you so much in progress of like, you know, just, you know, bus passes, having access to like food, things in that nature. I never truly think, you know, an organization would provide that. And it was just so welcoming too as well. Um, with that being said, I was living with um, a provider for three to four months. And I was um, working at my current job, which is T-Mobile now, um, saving money. And after the four months, usually with the program, you leave and exit the program to find um, stability, which I have done. So now I'm staying um, in the university area. I do have a really nice apartment that I'm living with, um, staying at now. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart because your funds has helped um, young people that are experiencing unstable housing secure employment and also safe and stable housing. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Trey. The Trey Foundation stands for Teaching Responsibility in Early. We donate, get food and water and medicine to the homes to make the community a better place. If you want to learn more, go to www.thetreyfoundation.org. Um, well, I'm, hi, my name is Shay Quarles, and this is my son Douglas Quarles, who we call Trey. And we want to say thank you so much to the Housing Opportunity Foundation for 
um, granting us this $400 award to assist us with our efforts to prepare and distribute lunches to 200 individuals in Uptown Charlotte each month. When we started the Trade Foundation, we really wanted to provide volunteer opportunities for children uh, my son's age and older so they can instill a sense of compassion and self for, um, and empathy for others. Um, we know that um, being homeless is not the only issue that these individuals face, that they also face hunger. And so we wanted to kind of bridge the gap there and provide meals um, as a small gesture each month. What we give the homeless people are sandwiches with a cookie on top of them, um, thank you letters, and water, water and fruit snacks, and other stuff that they need. And then even if it is winter or snow, we still do it every month. Even if it's cold outside, right? Because they're cold. My name is Katie Church and I'm the Tenant Services Coordinator for Urban Ministry Center's Housing Works Program. Urban Ministry Center provides services for the homeless population in Charlotte and Housing Works in particular provides permanent supportive housing for people with a history of chronic homelessness and disabilities. Now, some of the people who move in don't have any income and so we provide them with cleaning supplies, laundry detergent, dish soap, um, things like that so they can maintain their apartment. Um, and so the grant funding is going to go toward cleaning supplies for folks who don't have any income. And everyone who lives here is so proud of their apartment and they really take um, great pride in being able to maintain their apartment and have over family members and staff members to come and visit with them.